So I got the name Savage from Be Legit. Really? Because Be Legit was the Savage. I guess I got the D-Boy Blues. I got a quicker game, I needed something to do. It was Be Legit the Savage. So that was one of my favorite artists. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Yeah, mm -hmm. some of the names that you've worked with, man. Who would you like to work with? I haven't worked with uh, Ross. I, I wouldn't mind doing something with Ross. Huh? I like Ross. Boy, that nigga that bad, too, He know too, how to pick boy. beats, though. That's his thing. He know what, what worked for him, and I think he stick to that. I wouldn't mind. And I crit. Like Big crit? Said, yeah. Hey, I, I crit. think... I, I've been trying to get, I ain't never even talked to the nigga, man. I done talked to a lot of people, and I know a lot of people, and I done reach out to this man. I done reach up, Crit, I done reach out to you a few times, bro. I don't know if you see Boss Talk 101, nigga, but we here, nigga. We Come in the South. Here. It's dirty, <laughs> dirty South till I die, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wouldn't mind putting on I, like, I love we were his music. To put something together, but you know how when you meet up with somebody, like, yeah, hey, we got to do something. Y'all be And it just never, it never came. How was his never, energy, and, though? Uh, oh, it was good. Good good was, guy. Yeah. Good. He seemed like it. Yeah, I like met Critic a couple times. Good he was just down there Matter with Lil Kiki last, I, I think, last week. Him and uh, Be Legit. I, I I even be linking up with Be Legit. That's somebody else I want to work with. Oh, yeah. And, huh? and let me tell that story while we talking about Savage, right? So before we had CeeLo, we was bumping the click. Oh yeah. So yeah, like 40 was as big in Baton Rouge as a current artist is right now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So we was bumping 40, Be Legit, D-Shot, uh, Sell It Sell, MCA, all them dudes, right? So I got the name Savage from Be Legit. Really? Because Be Legit was the Savage. I guess I got the D-Boy Blues. I got a quicker game, I needed something to do. It was Be Legit the Savage. So that was one of my favorite artists. I just took Savage. I was just Savage, you know what I'm saying? And um, the thing about it was, even around the time when I got the trio, I was already Savage. Mm. When I did my first song with Webby and a dude named Handy, rest in peace, it was a song called Old Schools, which is a classic at home. But I'm on that, I'm on that last, I'm on that second verse, and I ate their ass up. But I'm on that second verse, and I was savage then. You see what I'm saying? So this before Savage Life won all that. Type. So I was really? already. You see what I'm saying? So people like might look at it like, you know, like somebody might have influenced me. But I got that straight from Be Legit, and other people ran with the Savage. You know what I'm saying? So, so was you the first one to come out with yeah, the Savage? Yeah. In in Baton Rouge. Yeah. And and you can look at the the video on BET Uncut. You know what I'm saying? I was one of the first people from Baton Rouge to have a video. And on my name, my name is Savage. So, Savage, yeah, when you was Savage, because we know you changed your name, but... Uh, yeah, only because, and I didn't even want to change it, but Pimp asked me to change it because... So, of, Pimp C asked you to change your name? Because he fucked with Webby. And that was out of respect to Webby. That what, he what? wanted me to change that. Because he assumed that Webby did it first, but I ain't really have no problem with it because I know I did it first. But I know that's his homeboy too, you feel what I'm so saying? So he asked you because Webby had did Savage Life one in, one at the time. Well, yeah, he, you know, Webby was calling himself Webby Trill Entertainment Young Savage. Young Savage. Yeah. And and he was like And, and at first I didn't and at first I didn't change my shit. I'm like, man, fuck that. I ain't changing my shit. Fuck that. And I'm like starting to think about it. I'm like, okay, well let me, you know, try to some rebranding. And um see if I can, you know what I'm saying, separate myself from it because at the end of the day, I didn't want my legacy to be tied to nobody else's. I want my own thing. You see what I'm saying? So when I came up with the Mob God thing, it's just mine over both. But I was growing as a person. What year did you do it? Uh, I've been Mob God for about 10 years now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was about that time. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.